If you want the lowest graphics possible in Fortnite Chapter 6, also known as Potato Graphics, this guide is for you. There are two main methods you can use. The first method uses DirectX 12 and will give you slightly less FPS, but the game will be much more playable with fewer glitches. The second method uses DirectX 11 and will give you slightly higher FPS, but it will also make the game more glitchy and less stable overall. Let's start with method 1 using DirectX 12. First, open your Epic Games Launcher library, find Fortnite, click on the three dots next to it and choose options. Make sure the DirectX 12 shaders option is checked, then click apply. After that, launch the game and go to the settings tab. Make sure the rendering mode is set to DirectX 12. Set all your graphics settings to low or off, especially textures, effects, post-processing and shadows, since these have the biggest impact on FPS. One crucial setting you need to enable is Nanite Virtualized Geometry. This fixes the issue where the ground and terrain can look extremely buggy. Once all settings are correct, click Apply. Next, download NVIDIA Profile Inspector from the link in the description in just one single click. After downloading the zip file, extract it and run the application. At the top left, type in Fortnite and select the profile. Scroll down to the anti-aliasing section and find anti-aliasing, transparency, super sampling. Change it to the setting with 8x sparse grid super sampling or whichever equivalent is available in the dropdown. Then go to the texture filtering section and find the LOD bias settings for DX and OGL. You'll want to replace both of these with the custom LOD bias value that I'll share in the description below. Finally, make sure texture quality is set to high quality. Once all of that is set, click apply changes at the top right corner. When you launch the game, you'll see immediately if it worked. Your character models will look like Play-Doh with super simplified low resolution textures designed for maximum performance. The best part about DirectX 12 with Nanite turned on is that the map and terrain are way less glitchy and more stable than with other methods. Now let's move on to method two using DirectX 11. This one will give you even more FPS, but it's a bit more unstable visually. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector again, select Fortnite, and in the anti-aliasing section, keep the transparency super sampling setting the same as before. Make sure texture quality is also still set to high quality. Now, for the LOD bias settings for DX and OGL, change both of them to the highest positive value you can find usually labeled as plus 3000 or something similar. Click apply changes when you're done. After that, launch Fortnite, go to settings and set the rendering mode to performance, beta. Make sure all other graphics settings are set to low. Once in game, you will notice that the FPS is generally higher than with DirectX or, but the ground textures can look extremely glitchy with big squares, bugged hills and even flat 2D mountains in the distance. It's not very pretty, but it gives you a major FPS boost, and some players are fine with that trade-off. Personally, I prefer DirectX 12 with Nanite on because it's just a lot more stable and the game is more playable overall. Finally, if you ever want to revert back to normal graphics, it's really easy. Just open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, select Fortnite in the profiles, and click the Restore Defaults button in the toolbar. Don't forget to click Apply at the top right corner. This will reset everything back to the original settings. And that's it. Those are the two main ways to get potato graphics in Fortnite Chapter 6. I hope this guide helped you out. If it did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more. Let me know in the comments which method worked best for you, or if you have your own custom potato graphics settings you would like to share. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.